Okay, uh, so the valves are now all fitted, all looking great. Very nice. Yeah, really good. So uh, now we've got the rather painful job, well, it can be painful, of putting the rocker spindles back in. So we've got spindle, plane washer, rocker, uh, and uh, Thackeray washer. Thackeray washer is like a sprung washer. Okay, uh, so I'm going to heat the head up to expand it. I'm going to put the spindle in the freezer to shrink it. Uh, and then we start putting the we start putting the spindle in. Uh, obviously, this end this end out. Uh, and then there's a flat on the rocker spindle. I've checked all the rocker spindles; they're absolutely fine. There's no wear in them at all. They're fine. The flat on the rocker spindle faces outwards. It faces towards the the rocker covers. So on the exhaust, I'll face this way. And on the inlet, they'll face that way. It can only face two ways because of this, this sort of toothed end that when that goes in when you put the covers on the covers engage with that tooth so it has to be horizontal you can't be vertical um and so it's either faces inwards or outwards but they all face outwards so anyway so the spindle goes in we start putting it in then there's a plane washer on the outside then we drive it in a bit further put the rocker on making sure it's the right right way around that always helps and then we get the Thackeray washer like on the inside and then we drive the um, spindle all the way in and it should be flush with the uh, uh, or, or, or just below the level of the casing and then I've got a special tool here which we'll go through later on which is a handy little tool I bought from Norville uh, and, and because this spindle has to be in exactly the right orientation. If it's twisted, if it's turned, you cannot put the caps on. As I say, the caps locate with the grooves in the end of the spindle, so it has to be exactly the right place. And that tool enables us to twist this spindle when it's in to get it in exactly the right uh, place. But we'll come to that later on. So I'm going to go and heat the head and uh, put the spindle in, freezer, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Oh, and of course I will be putting a lot of uh, lubrication, um, engine lube, assembly lube on the inside of the rocker. Um, as well when we when we come to assembly okay we've heated the head up we've cooled this down and get it in the right position as near as i can start tapping it in Okay, and then uh, and I've just it's just through the casing. Let's see if I can get this washer in the right place, and the the washer and the uh, Mm -hmm. okay I'm going to stick the washer the plain washer like on the rocker to try and hold it in the right place there get it over the 
So I've got the washer and the rocker on the spindle. So I keep pushing the spindle in. Going quite easily. There. And it's just about to exit the rocker. So now I put the Thackeray washer in. about the Thackeray washer is making sure because it's got these like edge you know like tangs on the end make sure it does go in fully there we go and like squeeze it in there the advantage is that when it's in it does sit you know it doesn't fall out because it's sprung right now I think that is in the right position Yeah, it's gone through. Good. And I'll take a drift and I'm just going to finish off the spindle. Making sure that it is just below the level of the cylinder head it wants to be yeah just below now um I don't know if you can see now, but with the spindle having gone in, the uh, the actual it's nowhere near uh, horizontal the grooves. So that's when I take my special tool here, and it's got a, a lip at the bottom that fits in the groove, and then I can use it. turn the spindle and what I've got is got a little needle like a little pin that goes in and when that pin lines up with the, the uh, hole this hole then you know it's exactly in line and it has to be exactly in line yeah so the pin so that's it so the pin is now going fully in to that hole so we know with this tool located there we know that that is in exactly the right orientation so that when we come to put these end caps on they'll go in because the end caps they locate with the two grooves on the on the rocker spindle so let's have a look yeah okay so we've got a working rocker yeah just check it's moving sideways on the Thackeray wash washer and that's all okay good yeah 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 everything's oiled up I'll put a bit more assembly lube there's a, a little uh, no I think that's fine right and there we go and so I've just got to repeat exactly the same now with the uh, uh, with the next three uh, next three rockers. Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. All the uh, uh, all the rockers uh, all the rockers are in. So that's great.